Hello IT folks and welcome back to my IT workshop. So in this video we're going to check out this Dell Latitude D630 that, that came out in 2007 or 2008, I really don't remember. And the point is this laptop uh, is decommissioned, well it's 10, more than 10 years old so nobody's going to use it, at least in, in a production environment. The point is uh, this, uh, I took out the, the RAM from this laptop some months ago because I like to do that. Um, when I have all the stuff, I like to salvage whatever I can. So, and I forgot to put a label saying that, okay, this laptop is going to be uh, thrown away or something. But I didn't. And a few days ago, I tried to, I forgot I, that I took out the RAM some months ago and I forgot that. So a few days ago, I tried to do the same. I turned on the computer and it was working. I said, okay, it has one gigabyte of RAM, so I'm going to take it out. So when I, when I wanted to take it out, I realized that there was no RAM there. So I was thinking for some minutes and I said, okay, this, there has to be a hidden, quote, quote, socket somewhere. So that's what we are going to check out today. So first, I'm going to show you around. So this is the this is the the laptop. As you can see, it's, it's kind of thick. And here's the laptop next to a 2.5 inches mechanical hard drive, which we use in laptops. Okay. So as you can see here, this one came out. Well, comes with um, Windows Vista. And the, that part is where the serial number is located and all that. This is the battery, as you can imagine, it's dead, it doesn't work anymore. And using a, a, a screwdriver, uh, as you can see, the, I took out some time ago all the, all the screws. And the hard drive is very easy to take out, as you can see here. This one is 80 gigabytes. So, man, we have advanced a lot in 10 years. Okay, so this is the, the part for the RAM. So I'm going to use a plain head screwdriver and I'm going to take it out. As you can see here, there is no RAM there. I'm going to show you. I believe this is the one I took out. I really don't remember, but this one is uh, DDR2 and it fits, as you can see here. I'm not sure if this is the one, I, I believe it's not, but the point is that it came with one and this one is one gigabyte. So I'm going to took it, took it out again because I want to show you how this works. So I'm going to put it back. Uh, as you can see here is uh, DDR2. And I'm going to put back uh, the cover. I like these kind of models because it gives you, it used to give you a very easy access to, to the motherboard, well, in this case, to the RAM and the battery. I like these kind of models a lot. So now um, I'm going to uh, turn on the computer. I'm going to connect it. As I mentioned, the battery doesn't work and all that. I'm going to use um, a connector um, but it's not the same uh, voltage, okay? And I said, ah, it's not the same voltage. It doesn't deliver the same amount of power that it needs. So we're going to see the light blinking all the time and all that. So as you can see, I'm connecting the, the power from a, from a new Dell. It's the same socket, but apparently it doesn't deliver the same amount of power, okay? So uh, as you can see, I'm connecting it and we're going to check out um, the BIOS. As always, uh, we have to press F2 to get access to the BIOS in most Dell models. Uh, you can see Latitude, D630. Uh, you can see in the top right, it's blinking all the time because it's not the correct, uh, well, the battery is dead and the, the, the power supply is not exactly what it needs, but it's going to work. And allow me a few seconds. Uh, I turn off the lights, allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera. And we're going to turn on the computer. I'm going to start pressing F2. Okay, so you can see Latitude D630 series, BIOS version A13. And this one kind of took a long time to load, let's put it that way. And in the top right, you can see a few letters, but uh, the camera didn't allow me to really see it better. So you can see there, power adapter, wattage and type cannot be determined, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to just strike F, uh, F2 to run the setup utility, which is the BIOS. So this is another old school classic blue screen <laughs> Dell BIOS. So you can tell, you can see there the model latitude, uh, the BIOS version A13 that came out in 2008. And you can see the service tag, which is, yeah, the service tag. So that's what you have to put when you're looking for new updates and all that. 
So if we go to, we have the processor, and if we go to memory info on the left, we can see that we have one gigabyte of 1024 megabytes of RAM. So, and you have seen that we don't have RAM installed, so that something, well, what's going on here? And you can see there DDR2 SSD RAM. Um, well, that, that's pretty much what, what we can do, what we can see here. We are not going to access Windows because we, we don't really need to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to exit because I don't have anything else to do and I'm going to shut down the computer. As you can see, I have disconnected the power from the laptop. I'm going to turn on the light so you can see it better. And allow me a few seconds so I can adjust my camera. And what we're going to do next is using my loyal plain head screwdriver, we're going to take out the keyboard. To do that in the top right, there is kind of a little hole. And uh, using the flat head, we're going to take it out very easily. So it's here, I'm taking it out. That's it, pretty easy. Now we have three screws here that, uh, that are holding all the keyboard. So we're going to take them out. So the video in some parts, as you can tell, if you watch this channel, is accelerated. So you're not going to get bored seeing me do that. So I'm not wearing any, any jewels or watches or any of that. So I don't damage the, the electronics on the motherboard. And I'm taking out the keyboard. So this is the connector that connects <laughs> the motherboard with the keyboard. I'm not going to take it out because we, we don't really need it. It's going to be really quick. So and here's where we see the hidden um, uh, RAM module or socket. So I'm going to take it out. This one is one gigabyte as well, but the brand is different than the, than the one I showed you some minutes ago. That's why I'm saying, I believe the original, I don't know where it is. Uh, I might, I'm not sure what I took out some months ago, but the point is both are DDR2, so they are compatible. Okay, so this computer came with two physical RAM modules. Only the brand might be, might, be, might be different. So I'm going to put it back. And if you want to know how to add more RAM to your computer, you can do that in the top right of this screen. So it's a link to the video. So now, uh, well, I don't have anything, anything else to do here. I just wanted to show it to you. And I'm going to take out uh, this RAM module. Because as we know, no computer is going to boot up uh, if it doesn't have any RAM. Well, it kind of depends. I have seen some computers that you can access the BIOS, but in, for this model, you cannot. Okay. So I'm going to turn off the lights. Uh, the keyboard is not well positioned, but that's going to be enough. So allow me another few seconds to adjust my camera. I'm going to turn on the computer. Uh, nothing is showing on the screen. There are no sounds. There, there is nothing. Uh, you can see that the lights are on and all that. The computer is on, but nothing is showing on the screen. Because again, if there is no RAM, the computer is not going to turn on. Not even the Dell logo. So that's the power button. And if you say, hey, maybe that's not the power button. I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to bring the cover so you can tell it's the power button. Okay. So I'm trying that and it's not going to work. So I just disconnected it and we're going to put back, we're going to put the RAM back so you, we can do it. We are going to have access to the BIOS. So again, I'm going to put the RAM back very quickly. So we don't, again, this video is a little accelerated in some parts, so you don't have to wait for me to, to do all that in real time. I turn on the lights again. And this time I'm going to put it the way it has to be, with more care, well, very carefully and all that. So it's good that I'm not afraid if I break anything, nothing's going to happen because this computer, as I mentioned, is the commission. But it surprises me that it's still working after more than 10 years. So kudos to Dell for making really good uh, computers, uh, in this case, laptops. But again, I, I have a Dell. My first day, oh no, it's not a day, my first HP laptop. It's more than 10 years and it's still working. Well, that's another, <laughs> another conversation. I'm, I'm going somewhere else. So we're going to put back the cover, as you can see here in the top, the left. Um, 
that's it. You have to just to press it. It's really easy to, to do it. I like this model a lot because of that. Now, uh, again, everything is in, in place. So I'm going to connect uh, the power to the computer one more time. And then we're going to access the, the BIOS again. So allow me a few seconds while I do that. Mm, okay, my camera is adjusted. Uh, we, um, I'm press, uh, turn on the computer and I'm pressing Dell uh, F2 one more time. You can see there F2 setup F12 boot menu. So I'm just waiting for it. And it's going to show me the same message as before this one, the AC power and all that. But I'm just going to press F2. You see the system info, I'm going to memory info, and again, we have one gigabyte of RAM. Okay, so that's uh, technically what I wanted to show you guys. What do you think? Would you like a RAM that has a hidden, uh, let's say, uh, RAM socket? So in the event that you take it out for whatever reason, the computer is still booting up. So what, what, what do you think of that? Do, do you like it? You don't like it? You would like it? Any models maybe? Maybe the, you have a model that is, it doesn't have to be Dell, of course, but maybe you have a model that works this way. Okay, so that's all I wanted to show you today, guys. If you like this video, please leave a, leave a like. If you have any comment or question, leave it in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, maybe this is your first time here, please consider doing so by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell notification for future videos. And don't forget to check out the channel. Maybe you are going to find a video that is useful to you. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next beautiful video.